It's, it's basic hazmat. Uh, everything we run to is, is some type of hazmat, whether it be blood or, or fire or chemicals. Uh, we require all of our firefighters to be 1403 certified and then move into the role of a firefighter one, which is about a 14 week program that we put them through to bring them up to the level where they need, teach them what fire is, how fire acts, why it reacts, uh, why it does what it does to make us do what we have to do. We try to teach something new every time. Different things, technology's always changing. Techniques are always changing. There's drills that I learned a year ago to do. Now they're different. They're more energy efficient. They're more physically efficient. So there was a drill called the Denver drill, which started out with a three person, then it went to two person, now it's one person. One person can get in there and do the whole thing themselves, save manpower, save energy, save everything like that, more efficient, faster really. And it's just the way the fire industry is. It's always gonna be that way. Firefighter training, it's, it's pretty necessary. It's, uh, it's actually something we strongly recommend to do. Um, just basically because there, there's a lot of dangerous, not of hazardous situations we come into and uh, we like all of our guys and stuff to be trained and readiness for if something was to happen they would be able to quickly and strongly maneuver to the situation where they can get it at hand under control. You got, you got to train, you got to keep up. Uh, technology changes every day. Cars change every day. They uh, add more airbags and stuff to cars every day. So we got to keep up with the technology that's coming. To keep up with the keep up with the times, the new equipment, new styles. Uh, we're in computer days now. It's not all handwritten and manual equipment. We have digital readouts on our uh, masks, on our air packs. It's just it's just constantly changing. So in order to stay good at what you do, you have to continue to train. Things change every day. There's always something to learn. And I'm always willing to learn. I mean, um, my husband trains us. He's a trainer. Um, like tonight, we're going to uh, do driver training. And, and it's, it doesn't hurt to learn something new. I mean, to help to help the community. I mean, if you, if, it's just like school. You go to school, you learn. Firefighting is school. There's always a class. There's always something to learn. You may think that you know what you're going to and it will be completely different from the same type of call you from before. So you need to keep your skills sharp and to be able to deal with any kind of... Training is uh, very important. If you don't have the proper training going to a house fire, you can get yourself hurt seriously bad or you can get your partner hurt. You know, if, if you abandon a firefighter in a house fire, he can get hurt. If you don't have the proper training and do the wrong thing, you can hurt yourself badly or hurt someone else. 